can you guys hear me? Alright, I'm going to make a little tutorial for setting up uh, the navigation controller. Alright, so first up, I downloaded XPatter, but uh, then I went to the went and got MotionJoy gamepad tool. So I have it set up for, I have DualShock 3 6 axis USB in the drop down menu. And then I selected X input default, Xbox 360 controller emulator. Because before or earlier, it was giving me a problem not reading the joystick. But as you can see in the properties down here, the wireless 360 properties, um, I'm using the joystick and it is registering. It's registering all my buttons right now. But uh, before, it stopped working. I had it working fine, and then it, it randomly stopped reading my joystick. So in the game controller setting, it's got to read Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Or else it's not going to work. So now I'm going to open up XPatter. Start. Okay, let's go. X pattern sticks. Uh, all right, so that's my joystick. Now uh, you can see that we're, uh, that it's working. If for some reason it's not reading your joystick, like when you're going like that and it's not popping up green, it's not going to read in game. So if it doesn't read in here, it's not going to read in game. So it stopped. It was working for me, and then it stopped. And then I just deleted X Pattern and everything and reinstalled it, and it works fine now. But I think what happened was uh, I unselected the 360 controller, so that was give that's why I had problems. So it's got to register as 360, or else it's not going to read your joystick. So now you select the D-pad, up, down, left, right. Put that right here. Okay, now you're going to go to the buttons, got the L3, left, oh, my trigger, okay, L1, L2, set it up like that, buttons, X, O, and then, can also hit your PlayStation button. Hold on. What button is that in the corner? Well, that's not a button. Okay, that's all of them. But you can also use your PlayStation button or the keypad start and option if you want to use your uh, DualShock 4. So now, this is what I have it set to before. So I'm using this setup right here. So let's see if I can get this to work. This is a pain in the ass because you gotta do this. You gotta set the control scheme for every game because you can't like import your controls to a game. So let's see. Is this okay? This one's gonna be spacebar. This one's going to be 6. Obviously, X is going to make XX to make it easy. Circle is circle. Then you always want your joystick to be WASD. Then after that, I just use numbers. So this is going to be 5. 1. Two, three, four. Okay. Now we're gonna save this. Save as nav control one. And put that on the desktop. So then you can just load it. And you also gotta save it from the profile perspective. So nav controller 
one. Put that on the desktop. All right, now we're gonna launch. Let's see. Now we're gonna launch. Uh, sorry, my half my head was cut off. All right. Um. Now we're gonna launch Ghost Recon Phantoms because I have my controller scheme set up already for that. I'll just be able to show you guys really easily. Alright, so what I do when I'm making my controls is I take a picture of my X pattern um, button layout that I selected and make sure, it's just so I know what button is which, like what it's going to do when I hit a button on this controller on my navigation. So right now, I have it basically set up where I aim. I aim with L1 on my navigation controller and I shoot with left click on the mouse. So let's see. Melee. We got melee at six. We'll see. We'll go into the firing range. Let's see, so there it is. Joystick's working. L. <laughs> Reload with our with right click. Melee. Got X's cover. What's circle do? I don't know what I have on circle right now. But uh pistol swap, pistol primary. It's actually a pretty good setup. I don't really use it, but I could probably put weapons on there. Okay, then we'll go back. So I could probably use down on the D-pad and right on the D-pad, and circle as something else. So go into the controls. What circle right now? I don't really have anything on circle, so I guess I am going to go with I don't know, you could just pick whatever you want to put on circle. I'm personally I'm gonna go put circle. I'm gonna put crouch on circle. X is the slide, stay in cover. The sensitivity is not bad. I kind of like how it is right now. I can aim really fast with my mouse. And I move pretty good with my. Uh, it's, it's nice being able to dive to prone, too. So I'm, uh, I'll show you guys the gameplay with it, and that's my uh, that's how you fix the joystick problems and how to set up your navigation controller. That also works if you want if you don't want to buy a navigation controller and you got a PlayStation controller hanging around. What I was doing before is I just held the left left side of a DualShock and played like that, and you can still use L3, share the D-pad the triggers as your buttons and you don't have to spend any extra money. It only cost me $10 though 
to pick up a navigation controller used. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I'm about to be some PC noobs. What the fuck? Oh. That was fucking... Yeah, did you just teleport in front of me? <laughs> Glad that was fucking warm up. Yeah, the fuck is this shit? Alright, we're gonna do the same thing. Alright, let me activate first. Alright. Just post up. Got that one. He got you? No, no, he's other dude's dead. Behind us, behind us. How many? What the fuck? What the fuck, Racer? There's a teammate there. What the fuck? You just stood there and watched me die, you slut. Losing Charlie. What the fuck is happening? Are we with retards? Yeah, uh, Diggy, what's your, what's your level? I think I'm like level 3 on this? Oh shit, I'm gonna be like level, okay. oh, I'm gonna be like level 8. <laughs> nice, bro. Dude, we're fucking nasty oh, together. Oh, you got too aggressive! <laughs> I'm gonna rush out there. Ooh, get raped. Watch out, there's two on the right.